Hello, welcome to Full Stack Automation. This video is a little bit different. It's something that I've been working on on a new Rails 7 Hotwire app. Since I'm not that much of a fan of JavaScript, it allows me to make a single page application with very, very little JavaScript, if any at all. The task I want to do is try to mimic a terminal console, uh, which is used heavily by uh, SDETs and automation engineers to execute Cucumber or plain English scenarios, either in a web view or a mobile app or API. My amazing uh, design skills here, I have a Kook console that's showing here what we don't have yet any kooks. Again, this is just running a localhost on a desktop Safari browser as well as a Safari uh, iPad mobile simulator here. Um, so when we run these Cucumber features and we'll run just a subset of the, let's do the API, it's just going to pop this uh, Swagger API and just run some tests, uh, sanity checks there to make sure that the user can experience the API and learn from that. So. Again, there's really no meaning to these uh, features, but there will be a couple passing, and I think I have a pending one in there just to see a uh, difference in results in both the hard terminal here and as well as the cloud one that we, we built with uh, Rails 7. So again, we don't do need to do that again. You can just go to that same path and just pull out the API docs feature and run that. And these are in a headless browser, so you're not going to see that. Yeah, we have the failing and the uh, passing as well as a pending. So it's pretty neat. I can jump right into uh, Rails console and we'll see those three kooks. And then if I do a destroy all, they are gone. So let's rerun that again and see it go. It moves pretty fast. Yeah, cool. We're seeing where these scenarios ran on my Mac Mini here. So in a future video, I'll show you how we're, I plan on going in and actually clicking into these Cucumber features and like say a manual tester will be able, again, from the cloud, um, test this for us uh, until it gets automated uh, by an SDET or automation engineer. So, hey, thanks for watching.